Hi everybody, and welcome to a fun episode of Off the Cuff. Well, actually, I hope they're all fun, but today especially. A couple of days ago, I was online, and a friend of mine mentioned corn dogs. I couldn't get them out of my mind. Corn dogs are a lot of fun. So I went online, and I found a whole bunch of recipes for low-carb corn dogs. I took from here, took from there, added my own stuff. And today, I'm going to share a recipe for low-carb, air-fried corn dogs. And speaking of fun, off the cuff to me is fun. This is the most fun I've ever had. And take from me, I've had a lot of jobs and a lot of them were challenging. Um, I had one a few years back working the night shift for the classic TV network on their information phone line. That was challenging. Actually, it was almost the twilight zone. Classic TV network. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Rubble. What's your question today? Hey, I have a question. How come only have three toes on each foot? Well, sir, you stop your car going 60 miles an hour in your bare feet. Do the math. Classic TV Network. This is Jeannie from Cocoa Beach. Hi, Jeannie. Who is Samantha? Well, Samantha is a witch and she appears on one of our other classic TV shows, Bewitched. Well, who do you prefer? You know, I'd love to answer that question, but I left my glasses home. Oh, well, since I have them now, clearly, I prefer you. Oh, how sweet. Classic TV network. I see, I see. Good evening, Mr. Leghorn. What's your problem? My problem is a chicken hawk. He won't let go of my leg. He's a little guy about the size of a golf ball. What can I do to get rid of him? Well, uh, have you tried telling him you have salmonella? Sal who? Is that Italian? Yes, it is. Classic TV network. Hello? Hello, is anybody there? I know who this is. This is Edith Bunker. Oh, yeah. And let me guess. Um, Archie's going to be home soon. And you ran out of beer. Oh, yeah. Archie's going to be mad. Well, here's an idea. Why don't you run to the store real quick and get some more? I can't. Mike and Gloria are out. I'm home watching Joey! Oh, I'm deaf. I quit. Hello? Here are the ingredients. Thank you, Mrs. Bunker. And here's what we need to make our low-carb air-fried corn dogs. We need four to six hot dogs, any brand you like. 10 ounces shredded mozzarella, five ounces almond flour, one egg, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon baking powder, and for a dipping sauce, anything you like, I'm using yellow mustard. Now let's make those corn dogs. Now a corn dog has to have a skewer on it. Well, it takes three days to get those from Amazon, and all my local supermarkets don't have them. So I had to improvise. I did. Last year I did a show about air fried fried rice, and I used chopsticks. Well, <sighs> skewer. Yeah, this is not really sharp, but it should go in fine. Oh, yeah, right in. And just easily, and make sure you don't puncture the sides. Make sure that the skewer and you can feel it in here, that's what I'm doing. Stays in the middle of the hot dog. Ta-da! How's that for improvisation? Oh yes, hello, my name's Mr. Hot Dog. Yeah, that's, that's bad improvisation. Okay, simple step, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients, the almond flour, the garlic powder, and the baking powder. Now, if you wanna add salt, pepper, spices, go to it. And you just want to mix this together and make sure there's no lumps. It's going to go into the food processor anyway, so it shouldn't be much of a problem, but I like to make sure this is lump free. Now we melt the cheese. We put this in the microwave in 30 second increments on high and we keep stirring it until it's melted. My microwave has a 30 second button. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> See, we stir it. Second 30 seconds now. So while we wait, how you doing? I'm figuring it should take about 90 seconds. Then when it's melted, we're gonna put it in the food processor, add an egg, 
and we're gonna pulse and then slowly add in the almond flour mixture. Put the cheese into the food processor. The cheese is in the food processor. Add an egg. Now we're gonna put in a little bit of the, the mixture. Now we, mu now we must extract this and uh, it, it'll be easy. <laughs> and we're gonna start kneading our dough. So we're gonna knead this dough now. Take some almond flour, put it across your surface and take your dough. What this process does is it helps all the ingredients mix better together. All right, there is our kneaded dough. Now to get the rolling pin out. Okay, so I've cleaned off the board, put some parchment paper on, got my rolling pin, parchment paper on top, and now I'm gonna roll this out. We wanna roll this to between a quarter and an eighth of an inch thickness. Let's check on it. Oh yeah, doing very well. It can be a little thinner. Okay, I think it's just about done. Let's check it. Oh yeah, that is great. Now it's time to get our dogs. Now, I wanna have nice clean edges. This, it doesn't have nice clean edges. So I'm gonna take this knife and I'm gonna cut it, the dough straight across like that. Then do this. Uh-huh, easy. There, and that's the beginning. Now we take our skewered dogs. Place them down here, if you can see, so that's a little bit of the stick is in the batter. Uh, let's see, do it like that, and roll it. Roll it till it's like that. Now simply put, cut down like that. You take the, the dough and you kind of mold it around the dog. At the top, you can close it and twist it to get it to come off. Like that. Like I said, none of this is wasted. And there you go. One completed corn dog ready for the air fryer. And uh, for my friends upstairs. See, there you go. Here are our corn dogs into the air fryer. Now I lined the bottom of this air fryer with parchment paper, just so they don't stick. Okay, they're all in. Now, this is canola oil. You can use whatever oil you want, olive oil. I didn't have any at the time. And I spritz it, each corn dog a little bit, so they brown up and get crusty. Oh yeah. See, that's how they look into the air fryer. And 400 for 12 minutes, six at a time. I'm gonna do this for six, flip it, and then six more. Truly an off the cuff creation. Um, like I said, I didn't find out about these until two days ago. I assembled the uh, ingredients pretty much this morning and this is the very first time I did it. I kind of adjusted the cooking time based on what I know of an air fryer, and boy, did it come out gorgeous. It's easy to do, it's quick to make, and they look awesome. One thing, each one of these has about six net carbs. So uh, if you're um, like me, I limit my carbs to about 70 grams or less a day. These are fine, I can have one or two. If you're keto, and that means if you're keeping your carbs under 20 grams a day, one would be an extravagant treat, but it's not gonna ruin your plan. Okay, I can't wait to try this. And um, I'm gonna try it without dipping first. Uh, here we go. And by the way, nobody looks classy eating a corn dog. Please just keep that in mind. Oh my God, these are amazing. First of all, they taste deep fried. 
It tastes like a corn dog. Wow. Look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Oh boy, I'm going to dip it now. I'm going to try it again. Why? Because it's my show. You're going to love them during a ball game. That's a snack on the weekend. After school, the kids are going to freak out. Try it. That's it for this time around. We're here in about two weeks with another recipe. Until then, be well. Eat good. Oh, oh yeah!